Look at that. This is how many times people are dying to the first boss. After years of telling me to get good, the fan base has turned on From Software, and now they're telling Miyazaki to get good at making video games. I know everybody's been waiting on my video to learn what their opinion is on the whole matter, and I'm just gonna give it to you straight up, no funniness involved. The fact of the matter is, people are babies and children, and they cry when they can't win, and they can't win because they're not good enough at the game. This DLC was made specifically for me and the two other players that are good enough at video games to handle it. All of you casuals and normies with jobs, responsibilities, other things in your life that isn't playing Elden Ring, this DLC is not for you. You are an inferior class of gamer and this DLC is the proof, so go play Fortnite instead because you're seven. For me though, I am living it up in the Shadow Realm. This is like the best, most fun game in the world for me. I haven't seen graphics this brown since Xbox 360. The swamp level is back, there's a sewer level, there's a stinky toilet level. Every character is in pain and crying and wants to die and it's just such an enjoyable world to experience. Gotta be careful. This game sucks, I hate this. This is trash. I think a lot of people were going into this DLC with their level 350 character that they've slain 24 different gods on and thinking that they would not get one shot killed by a bat. But that was dumb on you to think that. I'm definitely one of those people who will correct you when you tell me that you've beaten Elden Ring. If you used summons or crafted items or overpowered weapons, you did not beat Elden Ring. You used exploits to cheat the game and now you're being punished for it because you're not a good person. Personally, I beat Elden Ring with mouse and keyboard, only using a level 1 whip. I only use heavy rolls. I don't believe in using the light or medium roll exploit. I don't abuse spells or blessing exploits. I don't abuse co-op or NPC summons. When Judgment Day comes, all of you abusers are going to be dragged down into the place where you belong as I ascend into the sky to join the Golden Order. Some people are saying this DLC is like Paper Mario Sticker Star because XP no longer matters. Listen. If you are not down to explore a cave for three hours to unlock a helmet you will never equip, I just don't think you get this game. You're probably too dumb. This is not a generic power fantasy open world game. If you want that, go play Spider-Man. Go play Ghost of Tsushima and remember to select the easiest difficulty mode like I know you like to do. Elden Ring is an artistic work of art where the more you explore the world, the more you find out how weak your character actually is. With From Software, we love to talk about build variety. There are literally hundreds of bad weapons for dumb players to pick and lose the game with. Me and my buddies know about the only good weapon in the game, but we're never going to tell you what it is. The sad thing is, this is probably the easiest Elden Ring yet. Miyazaki is just handing out these Skadu Tree fragments like candy, which are essentially easy mode tokens. I'd say once you get around four of these, you're pretty much invincible. Look at this footage of how easy it was for me to beat this boss that people are saying is impossible. Get up so I can bonk you again. Now get up so I can kill you. Now get out of here so you can get me. Now try it again so I can hit you again with that. This game is too easy, you guys. This is way too easy. As you can see, the game is far too easy. I beat the DLC day one. I beat every boss on the first try. And so if you can't handle it, uh, go play Pal World, buddy.